I request uh, to explain a little more how my uh, chain slides are set up. So I'm going to show how I set them up and, and why I set them up the way I do. Uh, one, you notice they have a, uh, a grapple on it. This was a two-pronged grapple, but I cut one side off. <clears throat> and then I flattened it out so it's just a hook. One reason I like to have that is it makes these real easy for me to dip. You know, because I dip them in the uh, Formula One in the beginning of every season. And, uh, and that just, I can hang them like this, dip them like that, comes in handy. Another reason I like having these grapples on here, um, even at trail sets, sometimes I'll put this, and I'll just bang this into the ground, and I still stake it. But uh, if it's questionable ground, or I got, my stakes are too short, and uh, coyote pulls all three stakes. I still got them on a grapple. So. Um, the other reason I like having that on there is uh, for spring hole sets. I have this down at the spring side. And I can take this a lot of times and hook this on a root. And then when you chain the other side, it can't be pulled off, you know. So it saves you from staking this side. But on each side, I'll have a uh, quick link. Just uh, one of these here, uh, three sixteenth inch quick link. You know they screw together there. It's about it takes up about six hundred pounds of uh, pressure, I think. Um, so that grapple's removable. Um, <clears throat> in case you know, if I'm using a field, I might just put a stake through here instead on the trail side. If I'm using that trail set, and then I stake the other side. Now at a spring hole set, um, if, uh, a lot of times you'll, you'll, you'll hook this side in or stake it and then you run it up and um, you find that you got too much chain and you want to shorten it up. I always shorten it up on the spring hole side because I don't want nothing up at the trap side, no loose chain to get tangled up with the, the trap chain. So. So I always take up my slack if I need to down on the trap side. They're going to get caught and they're going to be out of there. And I also put a uh, name tag on that side. You know, I don't put it on that side because they're going to be working that side. Um, so I have one of those on each end. Well, um, on, the, uh, on the slide where they're going to end up, I always uh, double stake it. One of these here, uh, butterfly swivels, or whatever they're called. It's a double stake swivel. You notice I drilled a hole right here and right here on this one. This I also have used on my uh, my little grizz and my my DPs. You know, um, I'll just take and put two uh, big screws, screw right into a tree instead of staking them or cabling them. That's worked out good for me. But uh, they're interchangeable, so I'm using them on my uh, chain slides too. Now the, the actual slide is a piece of one inch black pipe and I cut it on about a 60 degree angle and then right here I'll, I'll take my Dremel and make a notch. That notch makes a big difference. Um, it locks up a lot better with that notch. I, I used to make them without the notch and a few times I had them where they were still down at the spring, close to the spring. They weren't locked up at the uh, other end and I've never had them not lock up <coughs> that notch in there. Well, actually twice I didn't and that's because I was using number two chain. This is number three chain <coughs> and I like the number three. I've never had issues with number three some of mine are number two, they're lighter, easier to carry, and they're plenty strong enough. But I've had them lock up kind of like that there. Um, um, something about the number two chain, if it's if you got too much slack in it, sometimes I've had them get locked up there. Um, so I prefer number three. I'd say if you're going to make them, use number three chain, they're going to last you a lifetime. <coughs> The way that works is the uh, 
whichever di direction you want this to go because I, I switch them around when I use them for beaver slides. Um, right here there's a hole where the uh, I make it big enough so that 3 16th inch quick link and that, that holds my trap on. Now when they go down towards the, the anchor away from the trail or spring it pulls right through but then when you try and go back it locks right up and then every time they try and go back it locks up. They're great for uh, beaver too because um, they lay down nice and flat uh, rather than a cable with weight, throw the weight out there, just lay down flat. I like them for trail sets because uh, you know it lays down flat. Uh, with number three, you give a little bit of slack. The ground's une uneven, it's still lay right in them gullies, covered up with some leaves. And uh, they're great for preserving trails and they're great at spring hole sets. That's when I uh, used to be, that's all we could use to catch coyotes really around here. There was no dirt trapping. Uh, so I guess that's that's about it for that. The, one of the tough part is, is uh, on, on this side on your uh, J hook, you got to make sure you get that round enough that you know you can switch these out. And, uh, so another reason I like to have a quick link at both ends, even at this end, um, is let's say I got a trail set up. There's a field and there's a trail that goes up. A lot of times there's barbed wire and you don't want to stake it right there because uh, you know it'll get all its hide will get all cut up from fighting the trap with barbed wire there. So um, that's where these chain slides are nice to get them away from those spots and it preserves the spot. But let's say I make a catch um, now that trap, trail sets, I like to use a trap that's not contaminated uh, you can get away with it, um, I have, but I, if I have enough traps, I'd like to replace that. So, if you got a nice long chain slide to get them away from there, I disconnect this, I use, I disconnect that trap that they just got caught in, I make a dirt hole set there, and then I can angle off in the other direction here, and use an, an, pound another one of these in, put a fresh trap on, then I got dirt hole set and I still got my trail set set up. They come in and check out that, that catch circle and then you go up the trail and they get caught and then you got another 